Hello there everyone, welcome back to James Redman TV, the channel of truth, and if you do enjoy these videos, smash a like, but only if you enjoy, and if you don't, then smash a dislike, and if you even can, let me know in the comments down below why you don't like the videos. This is an episode of Youngsters. We know Liverpool are very limited, and this, that, and you, that we rely a lot on what is... I would suggest a rather media youth academy. And in this video, we want to talk about some of them. Now, the first youngster that I want to talk about is Fabio Carvalho, as he is actually leaving Liverpool on a temporary basis. He is going to be joining Leipzig on a year-long a year -long loan. And I simply want to propose the question, how do you feel about this? And before we talk about the youngsters as a whole and Liverpool's future, you know, with Bajetic, Harvey and Curtis... Fabio Carvalho was another one that was falling into that category of young players who was going to be beautiful for us in the long term. Didn't quite go out that way last season. Had good glimpses, but I don't think he was favoured as a number eight. I don't think he was favoured as, as a winger. And if he's going to be the lowest in the pecking order in both positions, then there's no real point in having him in the squad. So, <clears throat> at first, everybody thought it was just a little falling out between him and Klopp. Now it just seems like... As he's not favoured in any of those positions, the club's looking to let him go. And that's where the move to Leipzig has come along. Now, I heard about a, a bit longer ago, about two, two, two months ago, roughly, that this was something that was a possibility. And I heard the Bundesliga as a location that the club was interested in getting Fabio to. Because Leipzig wanted to buy Fabio Carvalho permanently. The difference here, they've got him for a loan option. And there's no buy option. They can't buy him at the end of it. He's still our player. So I look at this deal like a 10 out of 10. Why? Because he weren't favoured as a left winger, so he weren't going to play there. He weren't favoured as a number 8, so he weren't going to play there. So his two main... And, and we also don't play with a number 10. So the three main positions that he would have played, not available. A move to the Bundesliga now, to a team like Leipzig, a team that wanted him, a team that was still happy enough to take him for the season. It shows that he might get that first team football. And one thing that tends to happen when a young player goes to the Bundesliga is the value increases. The value increases because they've got more space to be more creative and the value goes up. So either way, regardless if he does well or bad, it's very, very likely that we're going to go ahead and get a higher value player by the time he comes back. And if this player is good enough to start regularly, great. Now you've got a player who can regularly start in your team or... If he did so well at Leipzig that when he comes back here, he wants to go back there. But they now need to pay £40 million. Don't mind if I diddly do, yeah. Take all of the money that you can get out of the Red Bull uh, checkbook and, and, and we'll go from there. Because Fabio Carvalho is good and, and he could be great. But that's a massive could be great. Like, I don't think there's any definitive substance there that he's going to be super elite and super world class. But if you do give him the right moves, and I believe this is the right move, what Fabio Carvalho needs to be looked at is an asset. And we need to look at increasing this asset value season by season. That was never going to happen at Liverpool. Or maybe it would if you're removing options. But as I said, we've got Harvey Curtis. And then the wingers were stacked as well. So there was no place there for Fabio. Therefore, the only way to get his value up was game time. And he weren't going to get it significantly higher than the under-21s. So therefore, let's send him out to the Bundesliga. I think this is a good move. For Liverpool, for Fabio, for everyone. Fabio's getting game time. He's going to a good league. It's a team that needs it. It's all parties. Happy days. I'm really glad about this move. And I'd like to know what you think about the move in the comments down below. Because um, I think when I break it down like that, it's not really that bad of a move. Um, anyway. Youngsters. We've got to talk about Harvey Elliott. We've got to talk about Curtis Jones. And just the future of the football club regarding the youngsters. You know, you think about those two players I've just mentioned. On top of this, we've got Pajetic. And then I'd say they are the top three youngsters at the football club and I understand there's players in the youth academy that people are still wondering I mean that Musialowski he's probably been one of the best youngsters that's never played and never really been talked about as a first team option so many fans have wanted to see him play and I've just never seen him get given that chance in the first team which is Interesting, but things always change in the Youth Academy setup. But I'm talking about the future of the football club because I think we're all uncertain. And I think when you break down the Liverpool Academy, we don't get many good players. <laughs> it's just it's as simple as that. Like, okay, it's not the worst academy ever. And, a, a, you know, a professional academy is a professional academy. But if you compare the standards of, yeah, for instance, growing up, 
I know for a fact that Everton and Tramia Rovers Academy was better than ours. Right, I know that. Growing up, Tramia and Everton, because in Liverpool, if you spoke to somebody who was in an academy, it was likely it was for one of those two teams. And you tend to notice a lot of players in Liverpool, they've played for multiple or had trials at multiple clubs when they were younger. So I knew a lot of people who played for both Liverpool and Tramia or both Liverpool and Everton. And they'd say that the training facilities or the youth academy at both the other teams was better than, than Liverpool, which is wild. And how I know that that's still the case is because we haven't really made many improvements to the Youth Academy. And, you know, if you look at case studies or who we've brought through it, I'm thinking of Curtis Jones, I'm thinking of Trent, and they're probably the two most established names that we could get 20 plus million for. You know, otherwise, I don't know who else we've brought out of that academy that's, you know, in recent years, that's truly boss and established. I think we've need to, we need to amplify the volume of players that we get through. In Chelsea, it feels like they get about two or three players every single season becoming big assets through their academy. We need to get to that level. We need to improve our facilities to that point and invest into the youth academy. Investment into the youth academy for this team, Liverpool, could be absolutely huge and could be the self-sufficiency that we need to go out and buy big transfers. Youth players aren't that much. So that's why now if they can play regularly and we can start getting bigger money and they can start becoming options for the team, it's great. It's just I don't think we've invested enough into there. Um, but in terms of the future of the football club right now, Harvey Elliott, I'm, I really do question if he's going to ever fit in a, in a Jurgen Klopp system. Not because he's not a good player. I think he does so many things well. In fact, it's, the only issue is kind of like the Fabio Carvalho situation if you're not best suited to any of the roles. Like if you're not an attacker midfielder and you're not a pacey winger, then what else can you offer us in the short term? Curtis Jones, similar. I think Curtis Jones, though, we saw at the end of last season, like, nah, this guy, he's got a chance. He can get into that first team. Pro probably quite easily, you know what I mean, if he really puts his mind to it. Because Curtis Jones, you know, for instance, we're linked with Taram, and we've got McAllister already. I think Curtis Jones starting above Taram is fine. And then, or oh, moving Taram out of the number six into a number eight, if he can play the number eight, uh, sorry, uh, Moving him from a number eight into a number six. And if he can play the number six well, then you can leave Trent as the number eight. I'm so tired, as you can tell. I literally just woke up before and throughout the whole video I've been trying not to yawn. Oh, but that was needed, guys. That was needed. That was needed. I'm not bored. You should never yawn on a video because it shows the audience that you're bored and then therefore making you bored. But absolutely not the case. I just saw some interesting news that I thought was essential to talk about and... Um, get to the nitty gritty about the future of the football club because I think we could be in a better position. You know, out of all the youngsters right now, the two that I'm confident are going to be, you know, established Liverpool squad options in the, in the upcoming years is Bajetic and Curtis Jones. Um, Harvey Elliott, maybe, but we need to see a little bit more. Connor Bradley, maybe, but we need to see a little bit more. So there's players there that are the maybes, but then there's the players there that are more certified. We need to get more of the certified players. Fabio Carvalho is an example if you get them. And it just so happens to spark interest. You can get yourself a nice asset, uh, asset to over the next year or two. You can build the value without them actually being in your team. It's very, very, very smart. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Please do smash a like. Remember the rules. You've only got to smash a like. Only if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, you've got to smash a dislike. And you've got to let me know. In the comments down below why you didn't like the video guys i'm wrapping up that light was burning me head off so i turned it off much love to you and your mothers i'll see you in a bit